Hi, you guys. It is a brand new month, meaning we've got a brand new Sew Together Challenge pattern. If you're not familiar, Sew Together is this little sewing challenge that I started through Instagram to kind of help all of us feel like we have a little bit more of a sense of community in our sewing. Sometimes it can be so isolating just here in our sewing rooms, but if we are all working on the same project together, I don't know, it feels a little bit different. So um, everyone votes on a pattern to make. I narrow it down to four and then everyone votes on it. And this month, everyone chose the Petite Stitchery Remy sweater and then Petite Century also happens to have a free pair of joggers, like a yoga pant jogger pant com combination. Um, so if you want to make a little set, you can do that as well. But today we're going to be talking about the Remy sweater from Petite Century. I've already bought the pattern, downloaded it. I have a few thoughts. So we will be talking about um, the pattern itself, some sizing things that I noticed, um, some fabric options that you might have, and a little bit about the version that I am going to be making. So let's go check out the Petite Stitchery Remy sweater. <laughs> All right, so here is the Remy sweater. As you can see, it's super, super cute with this little like high, low uh, drawstring action. Size is extra small to 4X. There's an adult version, and I also think that there's a kid's version. Don't quote me on that, but I do think there's a little girl's version. Um, and if they say it's the perfect combination of cozy and chic. This oversized silhouette becomes the center of attention with its playful ruched details. The ties can be pulled in tight in a bow or left loose and hanging, changing up the whole look depending on the mood. And here are some of your options. You have a curved crop, a short top, or a long tunic. And then you can do either horizontal or vertical ruching details. There's two necklines and then your bishop sleeve. So looking at the line drawing here, um, these are all the options. So you have the three links. This is the crop, this is the top, and this is the tunic length. You can either do this little curved um, hem, I guess, or one straight across, um, or you can do vertical ruching as well. And I mean, I think these two sweaters look totally, totally different from each other. Um, and then everybody has the same sleeve, kind of like a drop shoulder, and then the same sleeve with a little bit of volume to it. And then you're either your crew neck or your turtleneck option there. What I wanted to show you is some things about the fabric requirements, okay? So if you look at this, it says that even that cropped length, the smaller sizes take two and a quarter yards and out of 60 inch fabric. And I don't know about you, but that seems not right to me. I don't have the pattern in hand just yet. Um, but I will be updating via Instagram stories to see what I find on this. This just feels like, I mean, three yards for a top. I don't know. I mean, I know it's very oversized, but that just still feels like a lot to me. Okay, so here is your cutting layouts. And you can see that you cut the bodice on the fold. And then you just have your cuffs and your neckband. Like it just doesn't feel like you need that much fabric. And then even if you do the one with the vertical ruching, the bodice is even smaller. So you would need even less fabric for that because you wouldn't have to cut it on the fold. So I don't know exactly what's happening here, but it feels like maybe that was an overestimate on the, on the fabric requirements. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out is the finished garment chart, which is here. Finished measurement chart. So finished measurements horizontal to me means like your bust, waist, and hip width. But instead we're getting lengths, shoulder to hem lengths. So I don't know what is up with this. There are definitely two different measurements. Like the top is 23 and a half, 23 and a quarter here, but 21 and a half here. So the numbers are different, but I don't know, I don't know if either of these are accurate to be perfectly honest. Um, to me, this was supposed to be bust waist hip and this was supposed to be the different lengths, um, but there's something funky going on there. So when you get your pattern again, you are gonna have to take your own pattern finished measurements uh, which is really easy to do. You just identify the bust, the waist, and the hip and measure across the pattern piece, front and back, add them together, remove seam allowances, um, but double check that. 
for the record, I did also look at the jogger pattern, or sorry, the yogger pattern. That looked like it was on the up and up. That looked perfectly fine. All of it made perfect sense. No issues there. You just have to pick whether or not you want the pockets or not, and then your length, and then you are good to go. So the fabric that I am going to be using for this, and I kind of went over this in exhaustive <laughs> detail and explanation in my plans video, it's not my favorite fabric in the world, okay? I don't even really know why I bought it, but I do remember seeing it and thinking, oh my God, I love that fabric. I, don't, I was in another country. I was in Montreal. I was feeling maybe a certain way about shopping while on vacation and something came over me. I'm not entirely sure, but <laughs> this is it. It is a, and I got a lot of it too. I don't know what I was thinking, but it feels like a mid-weight um, jersey, but it does have, I don't know, there's like a lot, of, there's more heft to it than you would think for like just a normal t-shirt. Um, it does have a lot of stretch going um, cross grain. And then with the grain, we've got a lot of stretch going that way too. So I'm not worried about the stretch factor, although this pattern is super relaxed, super oversized. Um, so I don't think I have to worry about the stretch too much. I think more than anything, you want to be cautious of the drape, all right? So you want this to kind of <clears throat> hang from your body in a way that's not too drapey, right? Um, and maybe even airing more on the side of structured so that it hangs a little bit more boxy because you do want it to be oversized. You do want it to kind of pull away from your body a little bit. You don't want it to be super lightweight and clinky. Now that I'm speaking <clears throat> specifically about the horizontal ruching one, the vertical one, I kind of feel like you would want something super drapey to really highlight those vertical ruching and gathered details. That one, I feel like you could go either or. Lightweight, midweight, drapey, a little structured, and you would just have a whole different vibe depending on which way you went. Now, for the ruching detail, after looking through the instructions, the vertical ruching, I've done that before, it's beautiful, I love it, great little detail, her instructions are great. The horizontal ruching though, all she's done is made a very wide casing and then put a very small drawstring through it. And in my mind, that is just not equating to the kind of finish that I know I like. So what I'm gonna try and do is hack it to where there is a piece of elastic that's actually going through the casing, and that's what's creating most of the gathers in the hem. The drawstrings will still hang out and it'll still have the finished look as the website or as the sample makes. But all of that through the um, through the casing will just a look a little bit more polished, a little cleaner, um, and just be a little bit, I don't know, that just feels so sloppy to me just to have like a piece of fabric threaded to a threaded through like a really wide casing. So I'm thinking I can hack it to make it just look finished a little bit better, just a little bit better. Um, so I'll be sure to let you guys know how that turns out. And I mean, again, worst case scenario is I just end up taking the elastic out. It's no big deal, right? Um, but I do want to try that to give it a little bit more, I guess, structure and a little bit more evenness with the gathers and intention with that drawstring. Fit wise, it is a little bit hard to tell because we do not have finished garment measurements on this pattern as of yet until it until you have it in hand, but it is a very, very oversized sweater. So you are not going to have to worry about fit very much at all. If you're in between sizes, 1000% size down, the drapier your fabric is, the more slouchy it's gonna look, the more oversized it's gonna look, the more wiggle room you might have to size up a little bit to like air on the side of it being a little bit bigger. If you cut a size that's too big out of a structured fabric, then that's when you start to get like completely swallowed by the garment. So if your fabric is really structured, size down, you know, I'm going to be using my fast fit workbook as I always do. So I'm going to be trying to stick with the pattern designers intention in terms of wearing 
disease, wearing ease and design ease. Did you know that design ease combined is disease? That's terrible. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be kind of trying to keep in with that a lot to, to really show you guys what the intention of it was. Um, but if you know that you don't like super oversized stuff, you could probably size down a couple different sizes. Um, if you wanted it to be more fitted, just know that you're going to lose that like oversized boxy feel and it, it could end up looking like a lot different than what you see on the website. So try and stick with the intention of it, of being oversized and boxy. So I hope you participate. Um, I hope you will play along, join the community, follow the hashtag SewTogether22 on Instagram and have a little bit of fun and join our little like challenge community. Um, I have linked to this lovely set that I made for last month's um, SewTogether. It was the Love Notions Tranquil. It's this cute little sleep set. I've linked to the pattern review for that. So if you want to see how this came together, my thoughts about the pattern and the fabric and all that kind of stuff, click on the bottom right corner of your screen, that little box there, and that'll take you right to that video. Otherwise, check the description box for lots and lots of links and information. That's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.